tu... Sam Labi, James, what's up? Sai. Sai, what's up, my big game? I'm okay, Sai. Today I'll be discussing librarian players and coaches. Sorry, guys. I wore, I wore my sandals jersey, but the shoes <laughs> Uh. I just trying to you can share the video say okay today I'll be discussing our librarian coaches and librarian players the difference between librarian coaches they don't have a proper license to be a coach. Liberian professional players outside, those guys are giving it their all, they're giving it 110% just for Liberia to be out there. If you, if you send for a professional footballer, and that professional footballer to a local coach that didn't do everything. I will say thanks to George Jibo because he wanted to be in training. George Jibo just got a certificate in South Africa for being a trainer, coach, any team in Liberia, any to, to train any team in Liberia and also Liberia. George Jibo is qualified because he wanted to be a trainer. He work hard and today he got certificate. He got his certi certificate in South Africa last month before the whole coronavirus thing started. All oh, our ex player that want to be coach. It's a good thing. It's not a problem for you guys to coach. But I'm begging you. I'm on my knees. It's about time for you guys to follow the rules, the writing in Liberia. Most of you guys, when you are playing professional football, the training that you guys undergo is different from the training that we are undergoing now. If you want to be a coach, bravo. But then you have to follow George Gibro. Today, George Gibro came anywhere and boast of his certificate that he got in South Africa to be to be a coach to coach the national team. The last time I was on live two days ago, people called me from the, the LFA and some of my friends they called me they said that I should put the video down because I spoke about money. I, because being the kind of a person that I am, being disciplined and respectful I put the video down, but that won't stop me from saying the truth. All my years on the national team, the reason why I brought in qualify, I know. I know it's, it's so easy. It's so easy. Anybody can talk it. Number one is bad management. Number two, Liberian people, they own it. They only, they only listen to the media. They only listen to what comes out of the camp. And they're forgetting to know those guys that run football. football. 50% or 75% of the media, they, they, they work for them. So uh, I got a spell from the national team. I like to start on myself because I don't want people to say a lying or trying to make story or trying to disrespect people because I, I get the opportunity also no 
and again just to let you guys know my life is not about politics gents it's just about football and liberal football only if you get question to ask me you can read i'll read your comment and i will answer you so i got a spare from the national team before the game against namibia we played namibia in liberia i was on the bench i can still remember oh no to smith in the second half kevin simu was the assistant coach to Kate to smith he put me on the feet after that game at before that game i took 17 injections because i had an injury took 17 injections just for me to k to smith and most ability i spoke to them i said i won't be able to travel with the team to namibia because from Liberia to my namibia is almost 14 to 15 hours because the route that we were using i know, I know they agree they said that grandpa do a part of that team i don't know what happened on camp I don't know what happened on camp. I got a call from Dio that they were all, they were, they were, I think, I don't know, Moravia, but they were somewhere in Singer, no, not Singer, in Pinsley, that I should come and chill with them. I went there, I sat with Grandpa and Dio because I knew that they had a flat that night by 6, 7, let's say by 11, 10, 7, 8 o'clock, they had a flat that day. So I sat with them for a few minutes and I left. I went to my house, I slept. In the morning, the first thing that I did, listening to sport news, they said that Anthony Lamford, Dio William, Grandpa Do, and Doody Johnson, they made the team place the flat to Namibia. I was shocked because I spoke to Mr. Ability before, put me everything. The LFA media guy, Herman Flomo, wow. Early in the morning, you're on the radio station. How deal myself we may be able to do a whole lot of things on camp. So I was shocked because I didn't know. Up to, as I'm speaking now, deal. If you're listening to my life, you can comment, deal. So I don't know what happened that day, right? Up to this time, I don't know, but uh, I think I get small light, and I will tell you guys today. Pelewa was my PR at that time. You know the whole story that the thing I went on. So Heron Flomo went on the radio station, they expelled all because uh we went to the airport, we made it, we did that. I was shocked. Did I go to the airport? Because I I was in my house the whole day, I didn't go. So what I did, I left it. Okay. The team played in Namibia. After the game in Namibia, the team flew back to Liberia. I had a press conference because I was staying in Liberia. And in the press conference, I said that all. Uh, all the coaches that I work on in Liberia, they know that I'm not a real person. If K2 had a problem with Dior, Dooley, and Grandpa, he shouldn't involve me there because I spoke to him before he came that day and he accepted it. He and our most ability. And today, he joined me with the group. So after a few, after a few months, the fire K2 Smith. Coach. So when Back came as a coach. The team went to Ghana. Diba and Kevin were staying in Liberia. They were waiting for Musa Bility because Musa Bility he had a flat go to Sierra Leone. So Diba called me. Diba said, My man, explain everything to me. I'm begging you. I'm sorry. I want you to be part of the group. And I told him, I said, Sierra Leone, when he gets to Sierra Leone, he will call me. Then when you get to Liberia, he want me to visit him that night. So I said, no problem. So when Musa Bidete came from Sierra Leone, he called me. What happened to me? You're still talking on the same thing. No, it's a different thing we're talking now. Our own life, I mean. Or oh, when, when Bidete called me that morning, sorry guys, my wife, she always like that. Jeffy are talking to Kevin no, also. No, <laughs> so when Bidet called me that day, that night, when Bede, when Musa Bidet called me, when Musa Bidet called me that night, I went to Bidet house with a friend. So and Bidet Bidet said to me, he was sorry for what he did. If I said 
for them to expel me was a big mistake. Why they did that night, it would, I, they were but it's just that they wanted the news to be okay. That's the reason why they included me with dear grandpa and Dooley. I said, no, you and, you and I cannot sit in this room and you tell me it was wrong. Before I go to, before I travel to Ghana with, to be with the team, you need to clarify that. You say, if that's what you want, I will do it. The next morning, he had a press conference. He said that they were wrong for what they did. I'm okay. He said that he was, they were wrong for what he did. They were wrong, so I should the team. the team. The team is in Ghana. They want me to go there. So I said, okay, no problem. I said, but I won't travel today. I'll travel the next day. We agree. I flew with Diva, Kevin, who we went to Ghana. So some of the lies, some of the things that are going on behind the scene, you guys don't know about. Because our media working with the LFA, most of them working with the LFA, they're working with the youth and sport. So if things come up, players will always be wrong. Who is it? Shosho, Dali is on the phone now, okay? So, so some of the things that are going on that you guys don't know about behind the scene because our media, most of them, they're working with, uh, they're working with uh, the youth and sport. They work with the LFA. So in the LFA, our media, our sport journalists, and that's why they will bring to the public. You guys will believe it. But the things that are happening behind the scene, you guys won't believe it. There was a time I was on camp. It was, a, as, as I told you guys that today I'll be speaking about Dio, Dooley, and Grandpa. We were on camp. They were on camp. It was about ticket money. At that time, we were buying our own ticket to come to Liberia. So we bought our ticket, we flew to Liberia. Time to get the ticket money. Musa Bediti said that he don't have money, the team should wait. On Saturday, he will pay, he will give the ticket money. And Dior and Dior and Duty said, Dior and Duty said that if you guys don't want our family to visit the camp, you guys should give our ticket money now so that we can give the money to people. So that we can send the money home and, and give the money to our, our brothers and sisters. Because how much money you guys are giving you? $1,000. We spend five, six days in Liberia. You give her $1,000. We get brothers, we get sisters, we get other people that will come and visit. It was a big issue. And that day we were at uh, Mosa Bediti Hotel on the old road where we were lodging that day. A very small hotel. On Friday night, confusion broke up. Big issue. Dear and duty, grandpa they said that if you don't give our money, then you, you must open the gate so that we can speak to our people outside. Jimmy Jason was part of the group. Sorry guys, Jimmy was there. For that day it was it was very, very bad, James. It was bad. The public don't know about it, but it was very, very bad that night. Because Musa Bediti said he don't have money to give TK money back. And you're forgetting to know, gents, we are professionals. We are professional. The way we've been treated outside, we go like bro, that's the same way we should be treated. Because if I get in a faster treatment in South Africa with a club team, if I travel to go and play for my country, I feel that like bro, that's the best thing I will ever do. So my people, let's say the LFA or the youth and sport people should take care of me because at the end of the day if i'm happy i'm going to perform if i'm not happy i won't perform so that night they fought dear grandpa and jimmy they left the camp but they went home because of the morning on saturday morning on saturday morning they called him back to camp the train must have been to give the guys the money but then the news that went outside they said that dear Jimmy Jason and Judy, Grandpa, they are very rude, but if the Musa Bediti on a story didn't come out, how he refused, he insulted those guys that day. If if they don't want to play for loans, that I won't use that here because uh, I believe that so many other people are watching this video, so I don't need to be rude. I just I just gonna be so so uh people are on camera that day. The news that came out to the public, there's a there's a there's a uh 
There's a journalist called uh, Henry William Moluba. He was working with the LFA that time. They knew about everything that happened. The next the headline in Liberia, the what Musa Bediti did to the players or what Musa Bediti said to those guys before the argument broke up. And if we continue on the day, Liberia football won't go anywhere because we've been, we treat, we've been always treating us like Oh, they treat they treat it they treating us like it's forced to play for Lunsa. If we don't play for Lunsa, that's a treatment footballer get in Liberia. I'm talking about I'm talking about a national team call me. It shows that I'm one of the best players on my team. So if I leave my team to go to national team camp, I should be treated with respect. You guys should if I'm wrong or if I'm not making sense, you guys should tell me. If these things that change, if they don't change all these things on the national team, they it will continue. People say that Musa Bedit, uh, Musa Raji, honor his administration. Things are going on well. I'm happy that things are going on well, but I can tell you guys, it stay the same, because honor Musa Raji, I play two games. The two games that I play honor Musa Raji, they got they got guys there. They get guys like uh, Roman Smith. Roman Smith, he's a dictator. Roman Smith is on the national team to get to, to for publicity or to be famous or so because he on competition with every player. He on competition with local players. He on competition with professional players because he want to be he want to be new out there. First of all, if I if I get an invitation from my team. To travel to Liberia before I leave my team. My team wants to see my ticket. They want to know when I will be back to South Africa. So if I go to, thank you very much. If I travel to Liberia, I own a national team camp. They they took us to a Chinese hotel. Ono Musa Ono Mustafa Raji. I'm talking about Mustafa Raji now. They took us to Chinese hotel. Up on complex, right? The swimming pool, the water is dirty. How are you, Coach Keita? I salute you, be coach. I just give light on some of the things that I believe that kidding the national team and some of the things that we need to do. You and I we spoke the last time about the same things. I just trying to bring it to the public today. So they took us to the Chinese hotel. The national team took us to Chani Hotel, the swimming pool. We shouldn't allow our family to visit or on camp. They don't have security, but they don't want our family to visit or on camp. They don't have security. National team player, we are the Chani Hotel, no security. They don't want our family to come. We're eating dry rice. You guys should tell me now, if you are on camp, you're eating dry rice every day for three four five days you got your family around you you won't call your sister or your mom to face food for you i am okay coach keita if you're in a hotel coach for four to five days eating dry rice you eating dry rice for four to five days you get your family around you won't call your brother or sister to bring food for you If we we play us on camp, they said that we shouldn't invite our friends, or our brothers and sisters, but they don't want to treat us as professional. If I call my brother to bring food for me, I allow somebody to come on camp, but they don't have security. Some of the some of the the, the problem are on the national team, and it stayed there. Even Ono Mustafa, it stayed there until they can change. Today. The last time I spoke to you guys about Tio Wiss. Tio had a problem with Kevin Simway. Nobody knows it. Tia Denny watching this. Tia Denny watching this video. He Christopher Ray had uh, Kevin Simway had a problem with Tio. It started with in Morocco on Antoine Hill. There was a time the national team, Coach Keita in Washington, right? The national team was to travel to, uh, we were supposed to go to Germany 
honor Musa ability administration. So uh, they asked us to give our passport because Aunt, the coach was doing her connection in Germany. So uh, they sent our passport to Ghana. The passport I went to Ghana, the, the player's passport I went to Ghana, they sent seven women on the list for us to go to Ghana. Seven women were on the, the team list to go to Ghana, to go to, uh, to go Germany. So uh, the German embassy in, in Ghana re refused to give us visa. They said that they won't give us visa because they, want, they needed footballers, not ladies. So the Liberian people, they were asking why the team didn't travel to Germany. There was nothing the LFA could say that time. What they did, they spoke to Morocco the Federation. We flew from Liberia, went to Morocco. In Liberia, our parents, our brothers and sisters, they were thinking that... Uh, we were living a comfortable life in Morocco. We were in a faster hotel. No, the, in Morocco we were a building like Ditwe. You see how Ditwe Ditwe school big, right? We were in Ditwe building. We were there for two weeks. We were there. We waited for Kevin, Oliver Mako, the king that day. We deal with and the king was in Ditwe. But on Facebook, on on the LFA Facebook page. They said that uh, we were training, we were going to play a friendly with the, Morocco, with the Moroccan national team and all the teams and that they were lying to the public. We were in Detroit, they were giving off pepper soup. We were calling the soup Mora in Morocco. Mwefi Nama was the captain. We were on, a, we were on a Mwefi that time. And then Dior had a friend in Morocco that used to bring food for us. Then we were in, we were in Morocco for... We left... Uh, we left we we left uh Morocco. We went to uh what the country name? We left Morocco. We went to play George Beza. Jobe, you're on you're on you're on the team that time, George Beza. If I'm making mistake or you're lying, brother, please correct me. You can remember when we went to Morocco. From Morocco, we went to Libya. We flew from Morocco to play Libya. Libya wanted to play a friend. They, all the other countries then refused because we were in Morocco already. The, 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 the Libya Federation charter flat for us. We went to Libya. And before when we got to Libya, yeah, Libya. Thank you, Jobu, Jobisa. So you see, everything I'm saying, I'm not making mistakes. Thank you, George Biza, for correcting me. You are there. We went to Libya. We went to Libya. We had our... Uh, Kevin, same way on the team. We have Oliver McCaw. We have all. We have few senior players on the team. So, but before going to Libya, we they, at least they spoke to us. They said if we get to Libya, they'll give us one thousand dollars each. As soon as we get to Libya, we give us that money. And when we go to when we get to Libya, they give us that money. We took the one thousand dollars. We play. After the game in Libya, we flew back to to Liberia. So we missed that opportunity to go to Germany because we had seven women on the list for passport on a Musa Ability administration. I said Libya first, but then when George uh, when when George Beza said Libya again, I just wanted to be sure because I don't want to lie. I don't want to make mistake, brother, because this is life. I don't want to make mistakes before people say Anthony Lanford is a liar. I've been my repetition since I started my career. I've been straight. I don't want to do zig zig, my brother. But thank you for the correction. One up, what best. So uh, when we came from Libya, uh, we, we, came, we flew back to Liberia. At that time, most of the players were on vacation. When we, when we came back to Liberia, we asked Billy to what happened with the passport. He said that uh, he don't know the people lied. There was no, they never had women on the list. A, B, C, D, blah, blah, blah. You know, they get a story. But then the problem here is our journalists. Those guys that read, they wanted to have the test match against us to play, to play Ghana in a few days. I agree with you, George Besa, and we refuse. They wanted us to play Ghana in a few days. Yeah, George Besa. George Beza, before I continue, I want to ask you this question. What did you tell us about the passport when Antoine, when Antoine he spoke to us? What he told us? 
He said that why did he told us when the when the passport went to the embassy, why did he, why did he refuse? Why did they, why the reason they didn't give us visa? So uh so that, that, that the reason why we didn't go to Germany. We were in Morocco, we were in D12 Berlin. National team players. They took us on a school campus. They, they, you, know, you know the school bed. They did small, small bed then. That, that, that how we're looking at in, in Morocco, on the Musa Ability Administration, that what happened to us. So when we came back to Liberia, we asked Belite, Belite gave us story, and there was a time again they wanted us to travel to Omar. We went to Omar. The, the, yeah, Coach Keita, seriously, we went to Omar again. The team flew from Liberia, we went to Omar to play a friend day in Omar. At that time, the team manager was uh, Skito. Skito was our team manager at that time when we went to Omar. We got to Omar, they said that they were giving all $1,000 as soon as we get to Omar. We got to Omar. After they gave me Omar, they, they gave us the money in the people currency. We don't, we, we don't know anything about the people money, so they gave us the money in the people currency. And we had a flat that same night. We had a flight that same night. So we asked the team manager to share the money on us that day. If we get to the airport, we can share the money because our flight was 12 o'clock. But the team manager said that our flight was 12 o'clock in the afternoon the next day. So we were in the hotel. The next morning, the people came to us. They said that we should leave the hotel. Wow. How would they say we missed our flight? We were to leave midnight. Now we said, but the, the team manager said that we, we had a flight to, to leave 12 o'clock tomorrow in the afternoon. Not to, then we argue with the people, then we argue like stupid people, like crazy people in Oman. At the job visa, you are in Oman again. So we went to the airport. Antoine Hay, Coach Antoine Hay took his own money from his pocket. He used credit card that day. He was paid. He bought a ticket for us to go to Dubai. We were in Dubai for nine hours sitting. In the airport for nine hours, national team player. They eat up big time after that. Game. <laughs> so we were in Dubai at the airport for nine hours, national team players. We don't know what what was going on. Nobody know what was happening at the airport. We were in Dubai. The money, Skito came back to share the money. He said that player getting 500 but we said that the people, they, they promised all $1,000 if we get to Omar. Now you guys are saying we should pay, they gave you all $1,000. He said that why the elephants say they should give up. We accepted our money, took the money, but we're in Dubai for nine good hours. Ele okay, 11 hours. Sorry, job visa. We were in Dubai for 11 hours using our own money from our pocket on transit in Dubai. Here in the terminal, waiting for the connect flight to, to go Ghana from Ghana to Liberia. Some of the sacrifices that we're making in Liberia, they say the player then they bluffing, they fizzy, they doing this. But the people that eat in the morning, the people that are making money, you don't talk to them, you don't go to them. You're only thinking about players. If Liberian players were fizzy, you should know that number one, we don't have a element in Liberia. Some of all the talent that we get are just gone. We left Liberia, we outside, we are successful because we've been humble, we've been disciplined. That's the reason why some of us continue to play football. So Liberian people, you should respect us, we the footballers, and talk to administration because they are running football. They are killing football. So when we left from Liberia, when from Omar, we went to um we got to um we got to Ghana. There was a problem in Ghana again because they never had ticket for us in Ghana also. They wanted us to sleep in Ghana. But now to sleep in Ghana, we should use our own money from our pocket to buy food in Ghana. Honor Musa Ability Administration. The coach was very angry that day. I don't know what he did. He, he made his own connection and all the things. Then. We left Ghana. We went to Liberia. Everybody went back on basis to the Vero Club and all the things like that. Everything was okay. In Liberia, we went to Omar. They gave us money. Everybody was happy. It's things that Liberian people don't know. At that time, 
if any footballer go on the radio station to say anything, they'll say you rule, you dare respectful. They will say you rule, you dare respectful. Footballer, we are not allowed to talk. We should just be quiet. We are, we bobo, we mumune. We don't have we don't have any anything in here. We don't have value. We don't have anything. The administration, they are running football, they are doing everything, they are they are doing the right thing. They should take you know, so they've been killing football in Liberia for years. For years. And Theo Weeks and and Chris and, and Kelvin same way. Up to this time, they are not cool. Simple because Theo we went to where the place needs uh Libya. Theo on the starting team. Theo won number six jersey. Kevin wanted to wear the jersey, and the coach said Kevin was because I think the bench Kevin right job, job is a uh, the bench Kevin at the, the bench Kevin in that game, and right after that game, as the time Tio Tio flew to uh, Greece, I can still remember Tio and and Tony and Tizze. Right after that game, they went to Greece. Kevin had a problem with why should the coach put put him on bench to to play Tio weeks. So when Kevin became coach on the national team, whenever they called him players, they would never call Tio with. Or if they called Tio, they would bench Tio. That 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 our ex player and that that's more the treatment that players getting under them. So until they can change, yeah yeah he was on the bench. Thank you, George. On the bench he had a problem with Kevin until that day. It wasn't easy. They almost fight, but then we. Four teams together. Murphy Namu was our captain at that time. He spoke to them. Yeah, Tio went to Turkey, not Greece. Thank you. Thank you. You old hands. If your brother making me see you correct me. Thank you so much, George. Then Tio went uh the our liberal fo- liberal football problem. Administration and our ex players. Those guys that play for Joshua 11, according to my last, I was on live the other day. Someone said that those guys, they achieve. For me, in my opinion, the country didn't achieve anything. For the CV, yes, they benefited because on the CV, they play Nation Cup. For for Liberia, we participated in the Nation Cup. In the World Cup qualifier, that's the same thing. We're always there. So until... Liberia can win a nation cup or win World Cup. Then we achieve in something. If I wrong, James, you all correct me. So that's the, some of the problems on the national team. Then we had this goalkeeper called Momo Blamo. We had this goalkeeper called Momo Blamo. A very nice guy. We were on ATS. He came. He trained. The first librarian goalkeeper CM player I was I just making fun for a few minutes. I'll get back on the issues, James. So Momo Blambo, he trained very well. Before they gave me Libya, after Momo Blambo gave me, he said, uh, Mevin King, the way I see the game, you my way, not me. <laughs> Job is uh, <laughs> I won't get that that won't get nothing to do with my issue. I just try to you know. So uh So, uh, the, oh dear, okay, <laughs> oh dear, oh. <laughs> oh man. So, Liberian, Liberian problem, it's not the players, gents, it's not like that I run the team. Like for me, they tried out on me so many times, but I don't, I don't give the but I don't want to talk about myself. Maybe tomorrow somebody will get a life and will talk about me. For me, I don't want to talk about myself. I just want to, I just want to touch base on some issues that I know about. And all what I'm telling you guys, I'm 100%. I'm not even 85. I'm 100%. I'm 100%. Not even 99. I'm 100%. If only our journalists, our football journalists came, 
can say the truth about Labrador football and go to the issues. Labrador football, Oscar Dolly, look at beginner Oscar Dolly, Avin. You get players like Savannah Nimle. If you look at all the players and if you put them together and you bring them with some local players, I don't see a uh, team in Africa that will get a bureau problem. La bureau problem, I will own LFA people that will come on camp. They'll say, oh, they're fishing, they'll just come and get your money. Before game, they'll, tell, they'll say that to us. Oh, you're just come and sit down, you'll get your money. If they, after the game, blah, 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 blah they will tell us. Why, why, why I took so long to address the issue? The reason why I took so long to address the issue, for me, is not a problem talking because I don't just talk. If I talk, I want to talk some things that make sense. The reason, yeah, the reason why I'm addressing the issue now because it's still going on on the national team. And for me, I'm saying this, to, 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 I'm saying this live today. If the national team don't want to call me, bravo. If they call me, bravo. If they, if they want to sell on me because of what I say, I'm happy. I've been on the national team since 2002. Since 2002, I've been on the national team. I've been around. And everything I've been going on, I know all. But in life, the, the, the player is disappointed in there. No, the, the whole leadership of the LFA is... It's disappointing, very much disappointing. You guys, you guys only listen to radio on Sunday if the national team is playing. You guys only listen to radio. You don't know what happened behind the scene. If you know what happened behind the scene, guys, it's it's so it's so it's so bad and it's frustrating. One person because he played for Jawia Eleven. If the president gave money, that person want to put the money in his pocket and share it with, with his friends around him because he played for Jawia Eleven. The first thing they will tell you, my picking the ball where we play. It's not about you anymore. It's about the generation that you're taking care of. It's not about Jawia Eleven. It's not about what they did. It's about what happening now. If only they can teach children, they, 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 those boys that are coming out now, if they, only they can teach them current football, not about not, not what they did in 1996. And forget about talking the LFA. If, Mus, if Mustafa Raji want to do well on, in his regime, force, it's not force for ex-footballer to work with the LFA. And if they, if they are not qualified, Coach Keita, are you listening to me, right? If they are not qualified, if they are qualified, give them the job. If they are not qualified, they are not forced to work with the FA. If you go to Juventus Sport, most of them are working with the Juventus Sport. Time to pay budget and all the things. They many FC men. The time I was playing, the time I was playing, that's what they always say. When I was playing, we never used to get this, we never used to get that. When I was playing, we never used to get this, we never used to get that. But forgetting that the one we were playing is 15, 20 years ago. Now football is like Nokia. Football is like Nokia and iPhone. Every day, Nokia make, if Nokia made, if iPhone made, uh, not Nokia, but Samsung, sorry guys. If Samsung, if iPhone made, if iPhone made, uh, iPhone 30 now, Samsung won't make Samsung 30. That's the competition they in. So until... Until our ex footballer them about the generation and think about the current generation and forget about what they did. When when they were playing, the people that they were playing with, I had the opportunity. I met uh Tony Baffo. And Tony Baffo is he working with CAF. Anthony Baffo, he working with CAF. Before the Nation Cup, you can see Anthony Baffo, he the first guy. When I met Anthony Baffo, what he told me, he said, Lanfo, if you want to be successful in your career, you should just be humble, respect your friends around you, play football to the best of your ability, just get your own car. I took that advice from Anthony Baffo. If you want society to respect you, be your house or be houses and buy your own car. So if you go to La Bureau, you own your own from your from your car, you go to your house, or you get money. You stay in a hotel, but you must get your home, you must get your place to go. And I 
twenty bar for today, and up to this time, my life is very straight. I don't take things lightly. I don't take my career lightly. I don't go labor and miss flat. I don't go labor to do things that I'm not supposed to do. I remain professional and I will always be professional. And I will say the truth and in life the truth shall set you free. If they don't want to hear the truth, it's up to them. I, now we're talking about local players. We knew that. Now we're talking about local players. How will local players be better? How will they be better when they are not getting a proper coaching? Is they ever doing anything about local players? No. All they know, every year the LFA League will play. If Liska win the league, Bradford. BYC win the league, Bradford. They care less about other players then. In South Africa, in South Africa, become a coach. Before you become a coach in South Africa, Coach Coach Keita, you watching this? You are a coach. You know that you get a license. There's a thing called license, a coaching license. You should get a license that qualifies to be a coach. It's not because I play for Lone Star then I qualify to coach like any team in Liberia. No, I should get a license that qualifies me to be a coach. You should get a license that will qualify you to be a coach. In Liberia, few months, Oliver McCall, my big brother, my senior player, I respect him. Coach MPA. Why is MPA today? The bottom of the league. Why is MPA today? Bottom of in La Bureau. Until those guys can give people chance. People that want to talk, people that want to coach our local players and put them. Thank you, Coach. They should start with youth development. But, Coach, the problem that I get with youth development in Liberia because we don't have the facility. A few teams in Liberia, if we're talking about youth development, we can talk about like BYC. Liska get the opportunity. Yeah, Liska, Liska can talk about youth development also. But then, Coach, in Liberia, it's very hard to. For me, Coach, when I was leaving Liberia, Coach, if you are coming to see me, Coach, I was very dry when I was leaving Liberia. I was small. But you know what, Coach? I had a boss. I knew what I wanted in life. I wanted to be successful. All the Liberian footballers then are traveling. If they go back to Liberia, the only thing that people will say about them, they were sick. Now the reason why they came back. No, they wasn't sick. Because they were not prepared. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, I get, I get you. All the Liberian players that are going outside, they will say if they come back, the only thing the club official put on their website say, oh, they picking have malaria. Allah. 20 Liberian players can go outside and all of them come back with malaria. Allah. Because they are not they are not they are not doing the right thing. They are not they are, they are not being one of the real coaches. Our coaches in Liberia, they are still doing frog jump. They don't even know how to put dress together. To do frog jump since 2002 i left liberia till now i never seen nobody doing frog jump in my professional career but in liberia even on the national team we will go for national team people tell us to do frog jump and we can't do frog jump because we have to respect protocol and we have to respect the decision and all the things like that so until they can change the lfa need to take a stand the lfa need to take a stand if they want the, all the ex-players then to, to find something else to do and just stay away from football because they are not ready for football. They should do that. But as long as those, they, they, those guys around the national team, it's still going to be a lot of problems. I'm playing, for, I'm playing football today. I'm playing professional football. I want to coach this guy. <laughs> no, but coach. Coach, can you what I'm saying, they can put things in order. That's the only way Liberia football will change. The children in Liberia, they're learning the hard way, coach. They're learning the hard way. Liberian players, they're making $75 US. If you see them working, like, if they say they're making $10,000, $75 US. 
the children making $75 US, but you see the training, the training is $10,000 training. Playing 1995-92 when they were playing, that the training they were getting. So they stay together, man, together. If the children do frog jump, they will be fit. Until they can change that mindset. Until they can, they can change that mindset. I'm a professional footballer. There's a thing they call pre-season. Pre-season is for three weeks to a month. We travel out of South Africa. Sometimes we go to Europe. We go, we go North Africa. We travel, we do our pre-season. We come back. After preseason, coach, if I go for training, I train for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, I, I, get, I, I go for lunch, I get in my car, I come back. I'm not saying that what should happen in Liberia. But if those coaches, they do research, they will get ideas about all the things that are going on in Liberia. What's up, Donzo? Haberman Bridge, big brother. Until they can change, on the, until they can disease from that attitude, that mentality that when I was we are 11, we used to go train on, on 80, we used to do frog jump. We used to, football is different. Football now is different. You guys can watch the Champions League, the European Champions League, the African Champions League. It's different. Ask yourself, why a broad team, why a broad team don't cross the first stage Champions League? Is it because our players are FC? No. Because those guys that take heaven, we used to run at this. We used to juggle at this. We used to do this. No. Teach those children the way they should be taught. I appeal to the Liberal Football Association, the LFA, to please put things in order. If I, Anthony Lamford, qualify for a job, to work with the LFA or the Juventus sport gave me in the job. But it shouldn't be because I play for Lone Star. Because I play for Lone Star, I represent the Lone Star. I should be a coach or I should work in a football administration. <laughs> you used to roll up to go. <laughs> I know, but that's the place you guys find yourself and all the things that sometimes it's not easy it's not easy it's not easy it's hard you know you, i go i'll go i travel to labura train with the national team got raw talent no academy no development you see those boys they are raw but then you know in life little things small detail small detail is key in life positioning timing and all those things, that's the only difference from we professional and our local players in Liberia. Even you go on and you see the, lo the local player, you don't have patience to stand there because he has not been taught like that. If the national team is playing, you can see the difference. Those guys that we, we get proper training, that's the only way. I won't delete the video. The video part, I'm not talking about money. The last time I spoke about money issues, about our last game against Togo, I don't want to go there, but then uh, some of the big people, they called me and uh, they spoke to me. They said that they don't want that video. That was the reason why I took up, I deleted that video. But this video going to stay there because uh, I'm not saying any bad thing. I didn't insult anybody. I'm just being honest and I'm just saying the truth. And in life, the truth shall set you free. Okay, guys, you get five minutes to ask me any question, and I will answer before I go. I will, I will answer you. You get five minutes or ten. I give you guys ten minutes. Maybe in two days' time, I'll put a number on that you guys, I'll be talking to some of you guys because we on lockdown for 21 days. And after every two days, I will be speaking to you guys. And I'll only be talking about librarian football, the things that I know, some of the things that cost librarian we had during our time on the national. I will always touch base on that. I'm not going to insult anybody. I'm not going into politics. I'm just going to talk about football and some of the... Uh, five minutes, you can ask me anything. After football, what will you love to do next? For me, after football, after football, I got houses in Liberia. 
and I got houses in South Africa. It's, I don't like to talk about myself, but then after football, I think I just want to relax myself for a bit, enjoy my football morning, and then I'll see what to do. But I'm not in a rush to be like, after football, I want to be a McKinley. I want to be this person. No, I can still follow my education. After football, I can still go back to the university. But why did you talk about Seku? Seku J. Who is Seku Jabate? I spoke to Seku today on the phone. I will be talking about Seku in my next show. I forgot. But Seku in a story is very long. It's very long. Seku is my blood. The story is very long. But we spoke today. You know, the problem with me, I don't just want to come on the show and talk about people before people take things personal. So I spoke to Seku today and he said that uh, we can talk. And uh, uh, in two days' time, he'll be on the show live. I promise you guys, I'll speak. You guys will listen to Seku self talking, some of the things that went on. on. Why do you find a decision on coming back to the national team? Uh, oh, like I said, I didn't, uh, I didn't retire from the national team. If you look at my last post on Facebook, I said that until the LFA put things together. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm not willing to work on Christopher Red because he owned professional and I stay saying it. So I didn't retire from the national team until they put things together because I'm a professional man. I, I, I won't can't work with somebody that, that just want to talk because they want to talk or somebody that would disrespect me or disrespect my colleagues. No. You're making a lot of sense, especially what he said about our LFA Cosmos. Thank you. My next word in the US, why can we do that? What can we do to face it? Like I said, the only thing that we can do to face liberal football now is those guys. You know, those guys, you know, you know, in life, they get certain virus in life until the LFA can, like, you know, Musa, Mustafa Raji, Mustafa, Mustafa, Musa Bedete wasn't brave. He never had the balls. But if Raji, ne? if Mustafa Raji get the balls to say, you guys, you have to tell me what you want to do. If you want to be a coach, go for your coaching seminar, go for your coaching thing, come back with your certificate. And then you'll be, but they just, every day you go to the LFA office, they just, they just there. And it's like the it's like after football they forced to work with the LFA. That's the problem. Library like football administration, they don't have that boss until they get that. That's the only way things will change. In South Africa, they got they got uh, the SAFA and the PSL. SAFA is like the youth and sport. If you go there, you don't see Benny McCarthy then there. If you go to the PSL, you only see McCarthy then if something happened relating football in the country they want to see your ex-footballers then that's the time but in Liberia, if you just go on eight years to get the, the, the lfa on it you just put in Liberia. yes i do have a plan a few months ago because my career like in three three years time three years time i think my career will be finished i won't live in south africa forever i, I got houses in Liberia, so i will move to Liberia. but before coming to Liberia, maybe I'll get a team in Liberia. I don't want to be a coach, James. I'm saying this live today. I don't want to be a coach. I can be an agent. You see, I can be a football agent. I can manage Liberian players. I can manage other players because why I build my CV, I build my reputation very well. So the reputation that I build over the years is not for me to be a coach. It's for me to help Liberian player or help other players out there. As I'm speaking to you now, I get like three, four Liberian players outside, but to my agent my agent saying for that person no i won't do that but i don't i'm not getting into coaching i'm not going to work to the lfa mustafa then the people that are working in lfa will be my big lfa but it's not something like i forced to work with the lfa or i forced to youth and sport because i play for lone star no thank you Piki. see on player where are some of the education okay education can be put in help to them can be put into the national team there are few teams number one the national team need a proper coaching stand if you see all librarian coaches and they only coach for two years it won't help liberal football it won't help the national team the reason why they coach for two years because if they all of Joshua 11 coach come his friend get problem with him if they all of Joshua 11 come his friend get problem if you bring Diva Christopher already get problem with Diva. 
if you bring if you bring Christopher Red, Kevin Sibu will get a problem with Christopher Red. If you bring Thomas Koyo, the other person get a problem with Thomas Koyo. So they, because they get that beef among them, because they get that thing, that thing, that thing, until they can disease from that thing, that's the only way like broad football will be okay. All the young players from Liberia to go professional. Good question, bro, but you can ask all local base players, including Tia Dennis before he traveled, before he left Liberia, including our uh, my picking part Shema. I always talk to them. If I go on camp, I don't take myself to be professional. I blend with the local base player. I give them advices. I tell them what to do. If some of them want help, I link them with agents. They will speak to them, they will talk to them. Patrick Renadino were in or in Malaysia. When he lost a contract the last time I spoke to him, he asked me, oh, see player, I link him with some people, then they spoke. And they didn't come to an agreement, you know. So these are some of the things that are doing for Liberian players. I don't need to hold a hand from Liberia, but the, the, the local guys that have been with on the national team, we always been good. And I always sit with them. They call me local base daddy because... I'm not a professional to them. I, I believe that if I go like Brody, I'm umbrella. What can you do to assist our local player? I just said that. Now. Do you have any plan in football? Like football? Why do you have? Mm, why do you make? Foreign coach in Liberia. If you hire a foreign coach in Liberia, and that foreign coach may Anthony Lamford, his assistant. Willen Jebo going to get a problem. Why is it that you don't make me assist and you made Jeb you made Lam for assistant? And then if you made Jebo assistant, uh Tia Dennis going to get a problem. Why you didn't make me assistant, you made Willen Jebo assistant. That's a problem. So if you hire a foreign coach in Liberia, that coach should bring your own staff. That's the only way Liberian football will go somewhere. My brother, the only Librarian football and focus on yourself. Thank you very much, Siku. What, what car are you driving? And tell me. Okay, I got two cars in South Africa, but I don't like to talk about the car that I'm driving and other things in here, yeah, bro. Sorry, next time. But uh, I think I'm driving good cars in South Africa. Yeah. For me. Yes, if you say Thomas Koyo, I will agree with you. But then, if you look at Thomas Koyo being a coach, the problem with Thomas Koyo, those same guys, when we were playing for We Are 11, Thomas Koyo used to be on the bench. Why you made Thomas Koyo head coach in front of me? You see? And then, if they, they're running politics on the ground, and that's why affecting Labro football today, you believe it. Coaches, Labro ex players who come on the team camp. Running more oh the Koyo men are not the coach, the other one I know how to do because they all play together, they know each other. That's the problem on the national team until they can change that. How can I get your son Jesse? Well, I will by the grace of God I will be visiting Liberia after the whole coronavirus thing. And uh you can inbox me, I will tell you how you get my son Jesse. I can show you and now I got the son Jesse. Let me show you. I got a, I got a jersey for you. I'll give you that jersey. Just wait. So. So yes, see this my jersey, Calf Champions League. You can see this one is for Romasoto. Last you meant to this, my jersey, calf champ in the calf, just play in the calf champion league. So yeah, if I come to La Bro, you get my jersey. I got I got jersey in my house. I La Bro, you get my jersey. Oh, for La Bro and living in. What am I playing for La Bro and living in South Africa? That is not a question, so I won't answer you. Sorry, bro. You finish your education and find something good to do, brother. Thank you very much. I, I I'll do that, brother. Because football, if football, it will always be like that until they can change, bro. The competition is not easy in the LFA. There. Everybody, because I play for Lone Star, won't. he said, inbox me. Why do you suggest concerning the coaches? I just said it. The only thing that, uh, people need to do now, as especially those guys that are in the LFA, because if you bring. 
I, I may mention of myself because I don't want to say uh, trying to disrespect other people, right? If you bring me now, Anthony Lamford, because I play for Lone Star, wouldn't Jebo going to be angry? Why do you say that Lamford and myself play for Lone Star together? You're giving Lamford the job. Why not me? That's a problem. So the problem is the virus is there. You don't know where the virus is. Our former players, they are the problem until they can change that mentality. That's the only way that brought football will go forward. Have you fully recovered now? I'm told that. Yes, I started training with my team. I, I was in the Champions League team that went to Egypt. But then, uh, like I said, uh, I'm not in a rush to play for Liberia until they do the right thing. Because uh, for me, I build a reputation that I've been very much respectful and I've been professional. I don't want someone to disrespect me for me to, you know, if I flick, then I, our people, our journalists, you know them because they're working with those people. I would be wrong. They would never say that person wrong. I would always be wrong. And if I'm wrong, the public will know that I'm wrong because the public is not what? The public is not behind the scene. Wooden Jebo is wrong today. Everybody know that Wooden Jebo is wrong because, because the people are not giving you guys the truth. So Wooden Jebo is wrong. Have you fully recovered? You can inbox me, bro. You are one of my best players. Thank you very much, Julo. See player like Brian. I was broken. It's a lot of leadership and respect, player. Need your respect. No, seriously? Seriously, bro. If you see if you see people respecting footballers outside, I I I would call this guy named Andy Kwemi. He was in Egypt, our last game. He was there, our last training session. Sometimes we got seven security. Before even Andy, before I spoke to Andy, it wasn't easy. You have to ask permission. I got to stop people. Know that my brother there before Andy got close to me. But in Liberia, it just, you can't Liberia, they don't even care about you. They don't even, they don't even think that you got family in South Africa. You got family that you're taking care of. Or they, they just take you to be one of their, their yard board. That's how they take us to be. If we can't play for Lone Star, those guys that are running football, they take us to be like like children. They can bring driver with either. They bring Gary with either. They can talk to us any kind of way. They can tell us from we should stay in the room from one o'clock to four o'clock. Like we like we in jail, we have our own country. You come to camp in your own country, Chinese hotel, they tell you from in the morning to eight o'clock, everybody must stay in the hotel. But guess why you're eating dry rice, Chinese Chinese dry rice. If you ask your mom or your sister to bring food for you, they say you've been rude, you are disrespectful, you're trying to, you know. So, and we'll always be wrong. Footballers in Liberia will always be wrong. Administration and the other people, then will always be right. So, for me, I put my attack on my heart. I don't want to disrespect anybody. I build my reputation for years and I won't disrespect anybody until they can put things in order. That's the only way I will come back on the national team. What can you do to help the young player? I answered that question already. Sorry. Lava, please try and read my comment to me. Bro, I am asking you too much. I said if you inbox me within a while, I said, how do you think young players can establish? How will young players establish in Liberia when football is not running the proper way? I feel sorry for those young guys. Sometimes I read on Facebook, oh, John Brown went to this country after two weeks john brown in library if you check on the website the only thing that he, the team website will say john brown was sick but he wasn't sick because he he was not prepared he didn't been trained the, the right way look if you leave library you go outside and all the team training and it's different no team dream frog jump no all my years also i never run on the quota i never run on the quota because you're running on the quota you're hurting your knees all those things they will say coaches will sell you down they will talk to you they will tell you how to work if you want to work home they give you your plan they give you your program but in Liberia, nobody will do those things to the players and so it will always affect our players our ex-players that play football they should be the one out that, that, that's supposed to be telling those guys but they are not doing it in competition with those young boys they want to tell them that when they were playing football they were like this they were like that they are not telling them the issues they are not telling they are not doing research about football they're only telling them in mali i chase the ball a day i do they want no 
they should they should do the right thing if you want to be a coach do the right thing as a coach if you don't want to work in football stay away from football don't go in football because i play you play for lone star i choose it all i play a jolly jolly too much look uh if you're talking about jolly jolly too much it's true everybody get a everybody get a life even in south africa in europe they get players that drink they get players that do things that they're not supposed to do all that for you if you want to it's up to you but i can tell you today the news that you get out you guys always get outside there is very it's a lie if we play in library lone star draw you see people are sad if lone star win that's the only time you see people outside there having fun so the whole jolly jolly thing if i Anthony the i get my money if i can't library if i want to jolly you won't stop me from jolly, jolly i know jolly or jolly jolly i would do it so it's different i don't think that should be a question bro even you chris you can jolly more than football or allah <laughs> would you like to play in your like league like yeah. look people always ask me this question right uh i had the opportunity uh when i first came to south africa in 2001 i went to europe i went to olympia myself when i went to myself the reason why the deed didn't materialize it was because i didn't have a proper agent I had this guy called Kofi Poku in Ghana. He spoiled that D. But then now, uh, since I left, I went to Marcel. When I came back, all the offers that I've been having, it's like in Liberia, making $10 level to in Liberia. Other teams in Europe want me to go Euro. They want to give me $7. $7. So I should go Europe just because of the name $7 or I should stay in South Africa for the $10 for me to take care of my family that after my career, I should be able to take care of my family. So that's the reason why I choose to be in South Africa. And the team that I'm playing for in South Africa is one of the richest team on the continent. So for me, it's not about, it's not for me to go Europe. It's not about me going to Europe. It's about what, I, what the money that I'm getting in my pocket. That's the reason why I'm in South Africa. But I've been having up invitation to, to go to Europe so many times. So I always want to, I think I, I think about my my children. I got two beautiful children. You saw them all of them. My children come first to me. So Europe, I can buy a ticket and go to Europe and go chill in Europe. But to go play football in Europe and get seven dollar liberty just for that name, I was in Europe. No. I live in the US, maybe put your son Jersey. I just told you that uh, you should inbox me. I will, I will send a jersey to you. Why can't you do as a country to put our country back on the that is so I, I i said that before why can we do as a country to put our country back on the map the people that are running football should run football the proper way if you want to get coaches get a proper coach if you're getting a work coach let the work coach bring his staff you cannot get a work coach a work coach made anthony lamb for assistant coach we then not going to be angry lamb for myself we playing for we play for the lone star together I in library, I don't have a job. You giving Jebel the job. You giving Lam for the job. Why? Why can't you give? I wouldn't Jebel the job. He will start to honor my me, and I wear problem with come. And at the problem that even Christopher read the head, the assistant coach for, with that white man, you see soon what will happen. Why can't we do? It? I read that already. Why your advice to young librarian? Players? My only advice to young librarian players: they should just be disciplined, be humble. They should stay hungry. You know. They should stay hungry. When I was in Liberia, people know me. When I was in Liberia, if they say we're playing free time ball, free time ball, I want to be the best. Where 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 people started knowing me from where I got recommended, we're on Mandela fee. We're playing seven seven, we're playing Eugene, Eugene Gray, Isaiah Pelo, Benson. I'm talking about all those guys from GM Professional. I have my community team called Young Rudder. They lit uh Francois Massacre. He took me from from Mandela fee, he took me to Zido, and when I went to Zido because uh, at that time he passed on, I didn't play for Zido. I had Mustafa took me from Zido to to Leska. Uh, if we go on Petodo Green fee in Lokington, I wanted to be the best in the Eastern League. I was the best everywhere I play. I wanted to be number one. So until they can be they can be angry, they can be hungry. Forget about people that are around you. You got to be hungry. You got to be hungry for something. If you are hungry, you'll be successful. You cannot play football like you joking. No, football is not a joke. Football is a big business. You got to be hungry for success. If you are hungry, 
you make it. That's my advice to the local player. Everywhere I went, I wanted to be the best. And I made sure if if they be my team, people in the community will tell that's not deep picking or shit. I don't know how I look in there. I was not selfish, but I wanted to be the best. And I was always the best in my community. What can what can say about Fucky Do? Grandpa Do, exceptional. Top, top player. Very good player. But the problem with Grandpa Do, the people on the national team, Grandpa Do felt that he was professional. And I believe that Grandpa is a professional. But then he was not getting that respect. Grandpa Do, he played in Europe, he stayed in Europe. Doody Johnson, playing in Europe, stay in Europe. Dior with him, playing in Europe, stay in Europe. Jimmy Dazing, playing in Europe, stay in Europe. If they come to Liberia, they won't get the day respect. Authentic. Some of all, we took the day respect from them because we never wanted a problem. Because if problem come, we will always be wrong. So everybody said those people, they, they, those guys, they are rude. They were not rude. They were speaking the truth. I will accept you, bro. I own life. Now just wait, wait. I will do that. See, player. I remember when they cooked Casaroli <laughs> for your. As dinner, it's easy. Casal, yeah, it's easy. Casal, you put an easy thing for dinner. The problem about the national team, man, we don't know. First of all, we don't have any adaptation. We don't have nothing. Anybody can just come. Oh, you're Copa Motor today. Yeah, you're Copa Motor. You're co driver, man. The man of E-Jire. I had the national team looking. No program, nothing. Mustafa can call from her now. My man, you're co gravy for the children and I want to cook for us. So that the national team, how you looking there? See, young player, man, I totally agree with you as a professional, man. You deserve your respect. And local players deserve respect. Yes, local players deserve respect more. Thanks, life for me. Great to hear from you, man. I am a witness to your discipline and tolerance, man. Keep it up, man. Thank you so much, man, Brian. I'll do that. A brand player can womanize. My Betty. The brand player can womanize. Even the players in Europe, they're doing the same thing. Even in, even in South Africa, they get South African players that can womanize. So that is not a problem. The problem here, if if those guys were doing the right thing, putting people on a discipline, if you if you want to discipline me, if you're telling me, like, now nah, in my house, yeah, I'm taking, I'm taking care of everything in my house. If you put me in a hotel and say, look, Lanford, don't come also. The only reason why I won't go outside is because I got everything in that hotel. Then I won't go out. But you cannot put me in a hotel and say, don't go outside, then I don't have food to eat and I get money in my pocket. I will go out to buy, to buy something to eat. So if, if those guys do that, then you'll say they are not respectful. I don't see it like that. Man. But you, you should be, man, better you should be, you know, you should say the right thing, man, because everybody can woman that. Even you, my Betty, your son, you get my Betty's son. You, my Betty's son, you can you can do jolly jolly. You get Julian, what you love him too. Do you think the elevator should apologize to Ben Tiklo, my feet Namwe, Nathaniel Sherman? Oh yes, that's a good question. Wow, thank you so much for bringing that. Up. When I was in the bathroom, I was thinking about, I was just thinking about that. They owe them, they owe them apologies big time. Number one. Murphy Namwe got injured on a national duty. You were wearing the country flag when Murphy got injured in, in, in Seminga. Nathaniel Shemo, same. Ben Tiklo, same. But up to this time, up to this time, I, be, be, I, dare, I, I, can put, I can put all my money on the line now. As your elephant, if one of them ever call Murphy to say, oh, Sam Musa Bediti is not uh, the president for, for foot, uh, football administration now, I had the president or I had the secretary because of A, B, C, D, Murphy, how you coming off? Nobody. Even me, I got injured in the Congo game before Nigeria. My knee was, my knee was swelled in my head. That Sundance been taking care of me. But tomorrow, if LeBron get game, they won't be invitation i'm gonna go like bro again to go play but right after like bro again they forget about us they, they stay playing with no but then uh you won't blame them uh 
Jonas. You won't blame them. Uh, if those guys get uh, the, sh the proper shoes to play on the indoor turf, they, they will. But the, you remember those local guys that are making $50, some of them $25. You know how much for indoor shoes? $30, somebody's salary. And that person get family to take care of. It's not easy on those boys. I'm telling you, it's not easy. Until our football can be in order. The reason why Theo Weeks, Tony and Teze, and some other players left Liberia because of Antoine Hill. When he was there as a coach, he, you know what he did? He brought his own staff. Kevin, all those guys, John and then he packed them. Things were moving smooth. But on, then they, 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 when they're talking out, eh, they brought the people, then a problem again. Like, bro, we're not, you know, we miss you on the play team, brother. Thank you, bro. We got bigger issue in Liberia, CM player. Let's talk about the, the crisis of coronavirus. Uh, if you, if you, if you, if you been following me, if you check on my page, uh, Verma, if you check on my page, uh, I, I, I spoke about the coronavirus. I gave awareness because in South Africa, we got, I think, uh, 1,600 cases already. That the coronavirus is real. People shouldn't take it lightly. As I'm speaking to you guys now, I'm on lockdown for 21 days. So the coronavirus is not a joke. So I spoke about it already, bro. So uh, what the things that I'm talking about now, if somebody want to know about coronavirus, you can still go on my page. It's there. I didn't delete that video. The video stayed there, bro. I will choose the series. You will choose the series now to go to Europe. Wow. Thank you, Smith. For me, I won't take it. Can you? I don't know. No, uh, for me to recommend a coach to coach the national team, that is not my job. That is not my job. They got a lot of coaches there uh, all around the world. It's just that uh, if you bring in a coach, that coach should bring his own staff. If you if Labro can do that, the, nobody going to stop Labro. But if you bring a coach, that coach say he want to work with Anthony Lamford. Nathaniel Sherman will say no. Lampo and myself been playing for Lone Star together. I want, I want to work with the coach. So I would, Nathaniel Sherman will start on my me, start saying things about me, doing do a whole lot of things, and I won't succeed with that coach. The problem on the national team. player, man, how was it like when you hosted with Messi or something? Oh, wow, it was nice. And uh, I just want to say thanks to our president, Mr. Patrice Motepi, because after our last game, Two years ago or three years ago, he they kept it from us after our last game. Then they told us that okay, you guys are playing Barcelona on Sunday. The reason why we've been hiding it because Messi never wanted to come, but then I paid extra money for Messi to come. I was like, wow. So after that game, and before the game, we went to the hotel. I met Messi, I met those guys. So I wanted my children to meet Messi. And I, I think up to this time, the picture in my house, my children, they, my son now, he know Messi. Anytime Barcelona playing, yeah, Messi, yeah, Messi. So it was like a dream come true for me and my kids to meet Messi. Nice guy. I can I guess hello, Jesse. Man, one love, man. Life for used to play with football boots in New Greta. I wasn't playing with football boots in New Greta. In New Greta, they used to call me Berfi Pele. Berfi Pele, and then, yeah, I used to be in New Greta. But in Yugita, you guys from Yugita, you all know that in Yugita, if I go there, I wanted to be the best. Anthony Lambo, all players, significant. Few dollars to ensure the career, man. I really do not agree with your explanation. Thank you very much. I know that you won't agree with my explanation, but then the country in Europe that they want me to go to play for seven dollars, so you want me to go to Denmark. And play for seven dollars. You want me to go to Norway and play for seven dollars. You want me to go to Czech Republic and play for seven dollars. I refuse that. I can play for Sundance and make that ten dollars. Then for me to go to places that I will just be there, nobody know where I'm for is doing. I'm in South Africa, my day-to-day -day activity is on TV. Then for me to go somewhere that is behind the camera for me to play for seven dollars. That's the reason why I refuse that. All the Labrin players in Labrin just want to travel. Fourth division player. 
yeah the reason why it's like that coach because they are not there's no program like you said earlier coach program there's no program so if there's no program coach if i play in a community now my big brother and tell me tell me picking you good though. the next thing i'll call you coach Keita, coach Keita, my big brother and say i could i won't travel you know so there's no program and you won't blame them coach Keita. the children they are going through a lot coach they are going through a lot there's no program. At least judge judge doing judge real time, local base players and were getting money, they were getting paid. But now local base players they are not getting anything. They're waiting for top salary, how much they pay in a thirty five dollar. How are you, big brother Tiklo? You you didn't send my lady on your birthday, we're still waiting for you. If you if you not agree, that is it. Man. Thank you so much, my camera. See player, how can people like you help players? leave this country i spoke about that already the only thing that i can do to help librarian players to leave Liberia, i'm not an agent right now but because i got linked with other agents i will always give not my the, the numbers to, for them to talk to players and and that's what i've been doing over the years even big brother keita we spoke about it before right so that's the only thing that i can do but after my career if I if I become an agent, that what I want to do. If I become an agent with a license, not an agent because I play for Lone Star. No, an agent with a license that I can represent anybody. Then I will be able to help librarian player. But for now, the only thing that I can do, I can only link them to other people. Thank you very much, within. How would I make my way to Europe? You don't just make your way to Europe. You heard what Keita just said. You don't just make your way to Europe, uh, Wally. Peter, you don't just make your way to Europe, bro. You don't just make your way. I don't want to go to Europe on slow way. I have to play. Somebody have to see me before they take me to Europe. Um, uh, first of all, why you guys fail to realize when I left Liberia, all the teams that I've been playing for, they are professional. So before I leave any team to go to Europe, the European team have to buy me. So I won't just make my way to Europe until they buy me. Like now I got a two years with Sundowns. If I want to go to Europe today, that team has to negotiate with Sundowns. I'm not playing for Ian Barrow, where I can just go to the president and know me, I won't go. Then they send for me to go. I go there. No, then later on they negotiate. No, if, they, if I do that now, FIFA will ban me and I will get fined. So I'm a professional player with, with a license. I'm not allowed to just leave my club and go to Europe until I get a team that will take me to Europe. Thank you. What plan do you have to contribute in the development of life? I just said it, bro. After my football, then if I if I become an agent, then I will help librarian players. But for now, I can only link librarian players to agents. But I cannot take any librarian player now. I will be... I can even get banned by FIFA or they can even find me because I cannot be a professional footballer and be an agent. It won't work. You cannot serve two masters at the same time. You forget that thing. Really. Can you provide some training material to our local players? Yes, I, I play for Liska FC. Mustafa, the president of Liska FC, I say in this live today, I've been giving him jersey and other things and so it's something that I've been doing. And whenever I'm in Liberia, the local base player can attest to it. Most guys are on camp. If I bring two pair of boots, three pair of boots, I will leave it with them. I don't take my things if I come to Liberia. I will leave everything with the local players, and including sneakers, clothes. I will leave it with them because I believe that the in Liberia, they need it. Nathaniel Shemo, you can attest to it, bro. You get my boots. I will take my boots from you soon. But I don't want to talk about myself, James. I don't want to talk about the good that I did for librarian players. I don't want to boast. I don't want to say things like that, you know, because I don't want to be that guy that do good and talk about it. So, yeah, I think I've been doing my best on a cover. Jim, player, I'm wasting my eye. Thank you, man. I used to beat your team by way. I I take it. I agree, you should be my team on my therapy. But I'll be the man of the match if you be my team. Same player, are you willing to help your GM player in Liberia to join you in South Africa? Oh, wow. Why not? Terran Tese, you're in South Africa. I begin Terran, you're in a hotel. I went to him, I talked to him. 
zero where making just africa i did the arrangement i didn't do a uh, terror arrangement but when ben the first person that called me was benny mccarthy because uh the team that terran playing for in uh in mozambique so mccarthy called me when he called me he spoke highly about terran the first thing that i did i called terran i was like terran you got to come to South Africa to play. But Terrence said he wanted to go to uh, Portugal to play for a fourth division team. He went to Portugal, he played, and then he came back to South Africa. I went to him, I visited him, I spoke to him, I talked to him nicely. He and my former coach, Gavin Hunt, wanted him. I spoke to him, I think they took him, and then they loaned him to a team in Mozambique. So it's things that I've been doing, but it's not something for me to post on Facebook. Oh, I, I have two Labyrinth players. No, I'm not that kind of a person. But I will always talk to them. Why are our players in the SC like the Ghanaians or Nigerian players? That's a good question, Jara. Now you're talking, Smith. The reason why our players don't SC like the Ghanaians and Nigerian players, most of our players, if they go to Liberia, they want to miss flat. Me, I never missed flat before. My, the, the LFA got my record. I never missed flat. So if we leaving our club teams to go to Liberia. The LFA will send a letter that, oh, Anthony Lampard will be here on the 5th. If you go back on the 7th, it's a problem. If you do that 3, 4, 5 times, they will start finding you and you will start lo- they will start losing faith in you and all those things. And that. I think that's the problem with Liberian players. If we go to Liberia, we don't want to leave from Liberia. If they say we flat, I have seen some of my friends, I'm not going to call names, I have seen some of my friends where after a game, we go in, we, everybody in the bus to the airport, some people say, no, me, I won't get down, I'll travel the next day. I have seen it, but that is not my business. You're a professional man, you know what's good for you, I know what's good for me. So, yeah, I think that's a problem, bro. Most of our players, they want to miss flat, they want to stay, they want to overstay. And club teams don't take that. Wow, uh, CM player, how do you scout manager for our young players with exceptional talent uh like you don't scout manager like for me now uh my agency i got a i got an agency that's the reason why i don't go out of contract i got an agency the only thing that i can do if a librarian player get a video or if i go library i see a good player i can only link him to that agency but it's that is not my job it's not my job to hold a librarian player here and bring him to south africa again even i can only speak to an agency that agency that agency need to speak to him or speak to a, a club or so that's the only way but after football then i'll, I'll be in that power to hold a librarian player here and take them out la forward do you on a daily basis so, so that future of librarian football player may look better Case like some 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 we are Alfonso Davis and uh, much more. Ah, uh, it's different, bro. It's different. Those guys you're talking about, they are in Europe already. They grow up in Europe. The mentality is different. It's season. If you look at Tom playing, it's different. You look at Alfonso playing, it's different. The mentality is different until we can get coaches. That we put when I when I left from, from 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 South Africa, I went to France, bro. It was different. It was different. The training in Europe is different. The training outside is different. They they tell you what to do, and in telling you what to do, they will facilitate you. They won't just tell you, oh, sit there, and then they forget about you. If they say sit there, if you're supposed to drink juice, twelve o'clock they'll give you juice. If you're supposed to eat rest, two o'clock they'll give you rest. If you're supposed to eat, uh, suck cool it, they'll give you cool it. But in Liberia. If they say sit there at two o'clock, after two o'clock that picking will be hungry and go look for something. So I think that's a problem. You don't you don't that's why I refusing to answer me. I am stepping on your toe, right? You're not stepping on I answer your question already, bro. Smith, you're not step you're not stepping on my toes. What is he? Yo, 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 what's Smith now? Smith, you're not stepping on my toes. I answer you. I answered you already about Liberian Lab- players and Nigerian play, Ghanaian players. Why we don't see like them? Because they don't miss flat. I said that because they don't miss flat. They take their job seriously. 
I got friends that are playing for Ghana national team. I got friends that are on the Nigerian national team. Those guys, if they if they're supposed to be in Euro two o'clock, they're in Euro two o'clock. If they go for vacation after vacation, if they're supposed to go back on break, they go back on break. But Liberian players, if we're in Liberia, we don't want to go back. That's the problem. And you say you step on my toes. You're not stepping on my toes, bro. <laughs> Anthony, we are so disciplined, man. I wish a lot of your friends could be like you. Thanks for being the person you are, man. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the voice. While Liberian players do not know how to manage the little world, you see. Like, I can't eat now, that's nothing you see. Like, uh, well, that, that is not my business about people money. I don't get into people business. But I think, uh, like, uh, like I told you guys first, when I met Tony, Tony Baffer, the first, if you want to be successful in your football career, you should pay your house. And what I did, I got two houses in Liberia. If I leave from the airport, I drive the car, I go to my house, nobody knows about my business. But if you see Liberian players, because they're day to day, they are too busy. So if they don't have money, everybody going to know. So for me, if I don't have money, nobody know because from the car in my house, so nobody going to know. So I think uh, I don't want to say that uh, I don't want to get into some bad people money or people private life because it's different. Everybody manage their life differently. So that is that question. I don't think it's for me. But if you ask me of myself, I'll tell you. It's, it is why I should be talking about the no, not proper. I didn't understand what you're saying, Stephanie. And then God, man, do you, God, do you remember playing against me in a high school league? Looking at back in the, I, I used to dribble you that all I remember. But the same player, man, we always say we do not have money. How do we bring? How? Yeah, the first thing they'll tell you, we, we, we just from war. How many years Liberia for war? FIFA give uh, the, the federal, the, the, the association money. So that's in a story. They get money for coaches. They just, we got white coach already. So they get money. The money they pay in the white coach, he can bring his star. They can pay them. In my mind, you are one of the disciplined players. You are one of the disciplined players that I ever played at the national team. And what your advice to the young player, man. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate your voice. But then I said it earlier. The local players should just be disciplined and be humble. Listen to the coaches. Listen to the people that are around them. And they should be hungry for success. Because if you're not hungry for success in life, you won't succeed. I agree with you, bro. The problem with our LFA is that there are no program for the youth player. At your level, I do not expect you to play for series. Series, uh, thank you, thank you, Mazo. <laughs> How come former players do not become agent to help them? That is different. Uh, you see, this whole thing of agent before you become agent, before you represent somebody, you have to get a license. So, before you become agent, you have to go through proper training. FIFA has to trust you before they give you a license to. To, 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 to be agent for a player. So for me, I don't want to go in that aspect. Hey, Smith, you're not leaving today. I want you to go to Spain to play for Sevenson, regardless. Okay, regardless of the division. Okay, I understand you, Smith, but then now the club that I'm playing for, a team from Spain need to come for me. I don't just need to get in the flat and go to Spain, bro. I don't know if my big brother or small brother, but you say you're genius, so I believe that. You're looking different, bro. Yeah. I'm looking different. You see my sabu? The other day, they said, see on player, man, what was your relationship with James Diva? Wow. My big brother. We don't have any problem. Diva and myself, we don't have beef. And Diva will always be my big brother. I always look up to, but what I said, ready to coach the national team. He's not qualified to coach the national team. That's my opinion. That won't, that won't bring beef between Diva and myself. Diva will always be my big brother. I'm just saying, i just telling the public some of the things that I know about Diva. That's all. Leave him alone. <laughs> that is amazing, man. You are such a, a strong man. Instrumental, man. Young man with commitment, spirit, man, to yourself, man, and to your team. Man. Wow. In the present reference, you are not just being pushed to change. The monument, but you stood on your ground to end your 
of mind in your current environment, which is which is very impressive of your career background man, and humble beginning. Man. I'm deeply proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Roger. I'm deeply proud of you. Of I'm deeply proud of you, brother Lafa. I admire humble repetition as true leader and former captain of the national team. I will forever be grateful to you for your service to Mama Labrio and your current team. I stand to be one of your strong ambassadors based on your integrity. Stay, stay blessed always, man. Wow, thank you so much, Bill. I really, yeah. Thank you so much, Bill. I really, uh, I will, I will inbox you after after this live. You already touched me just now. Your, your, your message just touched me just now. You know, thank you, bro. I don't have much to say to you. I just want to tell you, thank you for those words, and I will continue to be humble, and I will continue to to, I will continue to stay positive. After your football career, can you become a coach to help? No, I don't want to be a coach. I said that already. I don't want to be a coach. Good evening, my captain. Ominga. Ominga Raba. What's up, bro? I read him, bro. One of the one of like bro, good defender, Ominga Raba, but because of personal issues, our journalists will never say the truth. They will always give the bad side to the public. Ominga, what's up, bro? What was your most memorable moment in the in the night in the Lone Star share? Yo, I got a lot. But the first game that I played for Lone Star, it was in Gambia in 2003. Yo, it wasn't easy. Uh, I, I had the opportunity to play with uh, Zizi Rabo, all those senior players at the time. And it, I was on the starting team that they honor Coach Kadara Kruma. Complex, you got Complex, the way Labro, uh, Complex, we never, Complex, our last game we played. Our last game we played against uh, Zimbabwe, Complex was in pack. In, in Gambia, the stadium was full. Tell if your friends say hello, you can't even hear anything. Yeah. That did very well. And after the game, Coach Kadara, in the game, you become somebody. Just stay disciplined. That was the message I got from Coach Kadara Kruman that day. That was my most memorable game. Because I felt that if I were going to mess up that day, it was going to be my end of the national team. Because you know the national team is for every librarian, it's not for one person. So if you play for the national team today, you mess up tomorrow, they'll call somebody. So I believe that's the reason why Kala Akuma called me in the next game. Our team was the highest. 15, 5,000. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're 5,000. I won't probably eat one standing your brain. To Liberia because I think it's, uh, it's online already. I got more buyers from America, most Liberian in America doing buying the clothes, and I will try to bring it to Liberia. But the problem about Liberia, I don't want to bring uh my brand to Liberia and then I be in a store. No, I just trying to do it online because I think online it goes easier than for me to just bring it to Liberia. Why oh, was? To come Korea, impose me. Okay, I'll impose you, bro. Silly, I'll impose you. I'll impose you, just I'll impose you, be bro. After the show, the LFA need to come out with program to support the life of South Africa is good for you, bro. Thank you very much, Christopher. Oh, Christopher, today <laughs> I want to say nothing. My friend is in LFB player. What's up, man? Where are you, man? I'm in South Africa. Okay, she's talking to someone. How can we be as good as you to see? I want you to be more than me. Hey, if you, if I if I tell you a secret about myself, you won't believe it. When I came to South Africa, when I left Ghana, in Ghana I was making three hundred dollars US. But when I came to South Africa, when I had a trial with Jomo Cosmos, when Cosmos wanted to sign me. They called an agent from Ghana when Kofi King Cosmos wanted to pay me $1,500 US. Imagine from $200 to 1005 Based on my performance, they will increase my salary. The agent said no. You know what I did? I told him, 
you cannot stop me. I want to stay here and I want to play for Jomo Cosmos. And we argue him and said bitterly. And at the end of the day, I won the argument because it was about me. It wasn't about him. So I took that 1,005. That season, I was the best player in South Africa. In the Coco Cola tournament, I was the best player. And I won 50,000 South African rand, equivalent to $5,000. $5, I won that money. I won that money that time. And then I won't tell you that. Then they increased my salary. And then things started changing. I had my life started changing when I moved to Super Sport. I moved to Sundance. Things started changing. So you just got to be humble. And in life, sometimes you got to take the risk. You got to take the risk. You, if you want to be successful, you got to take the risk. But in taking the risk, you got to be humble. You got to be disciplined. You got you got you got you got you know you got to be submissive. You got to be very much submissive, because it's about your career. It's not about the people that are around you. So in making decision, you got to be wise in making decision. So I think I took the right decision, and it helped him. It helped me today. Smith, you here again. If I had to open to play second division, it's not the same level, Smith. It's not the same level. I play in South Africa. In South Africa for Mami Lodi Sundance, I won the Champions League. I scored in the Champions League final. I play in the FIFA World Cup in Japan. In the FIFA Club World Cup. I play in the FIFA Club World Cup in Japan. I don't want to boast about achievement. But then now, uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes you just got to say these things for people to know. Because some of you guys don't know so-called South African champions team no it's not don't don't they respect this african league bro this african league get money smith yeah you this life is not about some people trying to disrespect people bro we need to pay our big player man how i'm going to talk to your mark it's gonna be in south africa have been able have have been able to talk to mark p yeah i spoke to my p in south africa when he was here we spoke my first time seeing you playing was in my favorite season player. Thank you so much for your room. You are committed with all responsibility and tax ahead of you. Therefore, you have a goal and plan as a professional man. It, it is your job and responsibility to get the, to work from I agree with you, bro. Yes, senior man, man, I need to. I need you to connect me. Can bring the plane in. Yo, how many hours now? I've been here for one hour plus now. So, why was this? Why was to school? Let's go for lo long, longer service. Chicago. Okay. Thank you so much. Right. Okay, you forgetting to know that on the national team, when I got on the national team, it is true that I still on the national team. I wasn't a striker, you should follow the national team. I play number six for the national team. With Ben Ticlo and myself, we play eight. Ben Ticlo plays six, I play eight, or I play six, Ben Ticlo play eight for years. I was not scoring. And then uh, we had other coaches that took me from number six, I play number seven. And all my years on the national team, it wasn't about me. It was about me. It was, it was about me giving hundred and ten percent, and I always do that. So I only started scoring when I started playing number ten for Lone Star. When I was playing on the wing, I was creating goals, and I have created more goals for Lone Star than the goals that I scored. So I think it's a bonus. A selfish man would say, "No, I should score every day." No, it wasn't about me scoring. It was about me playing for Lone Star, gave him my best, and that's what I've been doing for the national team. So it wasn't about me scoring, bro. If they put me no more now, trust me. <laughs> no worries. Seku, what's up? Seku, you late though, my pigeon. I can't even go off now. So, guys, I just want to say thank you. Thank, thanks to everyone for, for watching this, my, I don't know, podcast or my life. I don't know how to say it, but yeah, as times go back, I will get used to your Facebook things and things like that. How will you really manage to to true? Play off for of all the big teams. So I was like, I enjoy following you. What was he saying? How how you ready to 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 and play for all the big teams? And so, yeah, the reason why I think I play for the big teams in South Africa because I've been disciplined. It's not that I'm better than the guys that are in South Africa, but if I only feed. 
If I own a fee, whenever I own a fee, I give my best and I will always give my best. Thank you so much, Mr. Smith. You gave me heart on today. <laughs> Skillful. Thank you, man. So thank you guys, man. I, I love you all. And you guys should know that this coronavirus thing is real. If the government asking you guys to stay home, you guys should please stay home, man. You guys should please stay home and continue to wash your hands. After every few seconds, you wash your hands. Because uh, there's no cure for the coronavirus now. And we don't want any news from Liberia. Please, guys. I love you all. I will see you guys after two days. My life is not... I don't want people to take this personal. I didn't insult anybody. I was very much polite. And uh, I'll continue to say the truth. And uh, and I'll continue to play in South Africa until I get that, that $11. Smith! <laughs> Bye, guys. One love. I have not seen you play before, but you seem intelligent and keep it up, man. Thank you so much, my man. So, bam.